Hey everybody, it's Ms. Dietrich. We're going to take a look at how we might use algebra tiles to help us figure out an equation like we see here. The equation we're looking at is x plus 5 equals 9. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in the, this uh, box is to represent the variables, this box is to represent the uh, value that we're adding, and this box we have to represent the number that it's going to equal. So let's put in one of the x's, and let's take five little squares, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then let's over here, let's put the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so the next step is to click on the number of these until they erase each other. So that's 1, that's 2, 3, 4, 5. In other words, we've just subtracted 5 from both sides of the equation. And now let's take a look at what it equals. x is equal to 4. And if we think about this, 4 plus 5 would equal 9 as a check. So let's put in the 4 as a check to make sure we're correct. And we are correct. Alright, let's just take a look at another example. Let's do x plus, how about 7, and we'll still make it equals. And this time let's go up to, yeah, 20 is good. Alright, so that means we need 1x to put in here. And we're going to need 7 of these guys to put in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to need 20 of these guys to put in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's get everything lined up. Now, for we're going to be subtracting 7 from this side of the equation. And whatever we do to the left side, we have to do to the right side. So let's erase these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're subtracting 7 from both sides. Now, as we do that, if you take a look, you can see that whatever x is, is has to equal what we have over here on the side. So let's count how many we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So when the answer here has got to be 13, and we are correct. All right, we have time to do maybe one more. So how about we do maybe some negative values this time? How about like a negative 5, and we'll still have it be equals. And let's have the value over here be a positive number, like a 4. Okay, so that means we still need the 1x over here, but here we're going to use the red to represent the negative 5, and we need 5 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now over here, we're going to need 4 of the red tiles to go on this side, or I'm sorry, 4 of the yellow tiles to go on this side, because of, this is a positive value. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, now the next step, is to use the opposite. We're adding, 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 adding. Adding 5 to both sides of the equation to eliminate this. So this is gone now. We added the 5 to what we already had, which was 4. So now let's count up how many tiles we have. x is going to be equal to whatever we have over here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the answer should be 9. Check. And we are correct. All right, I hope you found this helpful for understanding how you might use algebra tiles to help you solve equations.